Hello everyone, this is Dragonlord and welcome to episode 11 of House of the Hogwarts in Minecraft. And as you can see behind me, we do have the bell towers which we completed last episode. And my gosh, they do look absolutely awesome. I love them so much. And if you have not watched the episode, I will leave a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. And of course, if you do get stuck at any point in this video, make sure to drop a Discord server for support and just for a general Harry Potter community. A link will be in the description. And so today we are going to be building the Transfiguration Courtyard, which is this area here, and maybe some of the areas surrounding it as well. And that will complete the main part of the East Wing and allow us to move on to the West Wing in a later episode, which is really, really exciting. And so the Transfiguration Courtyard is based on Durham Cathedral, and it stays the same in basically all of the movies, however for one scene in the Goblet of Fire where it does appear as Oxford University. I don't know why they did that change since in the literally scene afterwards, it was a, it was Durham Cathedral courtyard again. That was rather weird, but the model always stays as Durham Cathedral. Power of the filming location kind of altered slightly between films, and it will look like this once complete. And so, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And so, the first thing we're going to want to do is well, make this look like an actual courtyard, since at the moment it's just a hole in the floor. And so, we can grab some grass and just go ahead and fill in this area. And so, our ground floor level is where we put our foundations, and therefore we are going to be placing our grass along here. However, that is, I mean, that's quite a lot of area to build by hand, so we can obviously use the fill command. So, slash fill to this coordinate right here, there we go, and come over to, uh, I guess over to here, and take this coordinate right here, just like that, just by looking at it and pressing tab, and then do grass block. However, this will replace everything, and so what we want to do is replace air, and that will basically mean it'll replace all of the air blocks in this selection with grass, rather than every single block, and so if you press enter, that will do that, and as you can see, all of the blocks kind of in the astronomy tower are still kept. And so obviously if you do want to, you can go ahead and just remove all of these grass blocks in the astronomy tower area. But it does mean we now have the courtyard ready to actually look like a courtyard. And so we can go ahead and start building onto it. And so this courtyard design is going to use archways which are three blocks in length. And so the first thing we're going to want to do is of course build the entrance area. And so on the foundation that we built in episode one, there will be this three block gap right here. And so upon this gap, you're going to want to build eight blocks up. So one, two, three four five six seven eight and of course on the other side as well so one two three four five six seven eight just like so and then actually while you're at it you may as well build up eight blocks in every single corner so one two three four five six seven eight and then across these gaps here as well so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight in this corner as well one two three four five six seven eight and then in front of these archways here just like that and then one two three four five six seven eight and just like so obviously this is another one of those massive five by five areas just like over here and then what we're going to do is just build a three kind of block perimeter around this entire area attaching the top of this eight block area and this will go ahead and wrap around the entire courtyard basically so just keeping this going all the way down until we come to this corner and then just carrying on all the way around the courtyard and so just keep wrapping it around just like so and then we will stop once we come into line with this 5x5 five five area and then of course continue this round here basically around all sides of the courtyard and then building up 8 blocks here and just finish that off right there. We will leave the area around the astronomy tower for a later time. And then what we're next going to do is just build a layer of cut sandstone blocks all the way around the courtyard and this is going to be the area just below the archways which we will then complete after this step. So around the whole courtyard except obviously for the entrance archways we'll go ahead and just build this all the way around just like so and of course stopping once you come in line with this 5x5 area and then of course down here as well and that will now look like that and already it kind of resembles a courtyard but not very closely. And then the next thing you will notice is there are these archways surrounding the entire area and these archways are going to be in a three by four area and so that means we are going to need to build up this kind of dividing pillars along the entire area and so come to one of your sides and just place and leave a three block gap and then build a pillar and then build a three block gap and then build up as usual and then a three block gap and then build up again and then three block gap and then build up again and that will look just like that and so in the corner there should be this kind of l-shaped area like this just like that and then of course leave another three block gap and then build up like that and then a three block gap 
and then build up like so and then of course another three more gap and then build up just like that and if your foundations are identical to mine they will line up just like so if they do not line up do not worry for example if it ends here that's not too much big deal it just means you can kind of shift everything along and just remove this gap here it really does not matter so don't worry about it too much and then we can continue along here building up and leaving a three block gap in between every single block just like so and just like on that side it will end with two blocks here and so complete the l shape just like this and then continue leaving a three block gap on each side just like so and then on this side as well building up after every three block gap and then come to stop once you come into line with this five by five area right here and then of course the same on this side as well and it's very repetitive this courtyard since it is identical on all four sides and that will look just like this and so to actually build the archway we're going to grab ourselves some birch fences some sandstone walls some sandstone slabs and some sandstone stairs and so the first thing we want to do is come to the kind of third block up and place in two upside down sandstone stairs just like that and then a sandstone slab in the middle and then a sandstone wall just to create this kind of center beam and then if you want you can go ahead and add in some birch fences just like that and of course, you're going to have to build this into every single archway, which is going to be a bit repetitive. But yeah, this archway, this um, courtyard is of course identical on kind of, on well, on most sides, except for this side here. So yeah, you need to go ahead and do that. So why not? Let's do it as a time lapse. And that will look like this once complete. Obviously all of these are identical and that only took me about 5-10 minutes so it really should not be that much. And then of course we need to round off these archways right here. So what you can do is just build one block down and just round it off just like that. And of course repeat this on the other side. So three blocks there and then round off with some sandstone stairs and on this final side here just like that. And then next, what we need to do, since I think we can agree, this looks like a rather blank flat wall. And so what we are going to do is just build up some nice walls going all the way up to the top, tapping off with a sandstone stair. And so do that on every single one of these kind of pillars going up, just like this, with a sandstone stair on top, going up all the way to the top, the eight blocks up, and then with the sandstone stair on top, and that will lead onto the roof above. So now go ahead and once again, repeat these onto every single block. And when you get into the corner, just go up the eight blocks and just don't place a stair on top, just like that. And then that will look like that once done, and it kind of does add a bit more flavor to the build. And then what we can do now is to start off the roof around the area. And so what you are going to want to do is grab yourselves some dark oak slabs and so with these slabs we are going to build a ring all the way around the courtyard in this kind of area where the stairs are so to create a kind of overhang just like that and that will just loop around the entire courtyard just going around just like so of course going on top of these walls in the corners and that will wrap all the way around just like so keep on going all the way around the courtyard of course stopping once you reach that 5x5 five five area just like that and so on this side of the courtyard the stairs do create this kind of pattern just like this with a kind of three blocks of um, roof so one two three and so what you can do obviously is just go ahead and build these all the way around this side let's keep them going just like so and the other sides are slightly different since this side is slightly shorter actually and so that will end off just like so and obviously you will go ahead and bring this round just like any other roof just like so however this roof is going to be slightly bigger and actually be four blocks big so just add in an extra kind of uh, roof bit onto this side and start bringing this around just like so so this one should be like one two three four however this one however this one should be only one two three and then now you can go ahead and just bring this round around the entire courtyard and basically the rest of hogwarts is a really easy journey since the well i mean the durham section was just so unique and complicated however i mean the rest the west wing is literally just flat walls with towers in the corners the same as this area to be honest and then the only next kind of hard bit is of course going to be the great hall and then obviously wrap the roof around this area for the corner and then just continue it all the way around and obviously just stop once in line with this five by five area right there and that will look 
just like this. And then of course we need to build up the remaining kind of walls and actually you might as well just go ahead and just continue this roof around just like that. And so this area over here is obviously the exact mirror of that side there. And so we are going to do is come out five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. So two kind of tall and with the bottom block kind of peaking above here. So technically one and a half blocks higher and that will look just like that. And then we will build up two blocks just like so all the way to the top of this area, just like that. And then another one, just like so, just like that. And then leaving a three by two gap, we will just build up a area just like so. And of course this will be at the exact same height as that window over there. And I've just noticed I have a texture pack applied. My bad, let me go turn off my texture pack. We of course will be using vanilla textures. Ah, there we go, that is much better. I apologize for that. If you were wondering why there was a weird texture going on. And then actually, um, I just realized I made a mistake. We are just going to move this window up one block. So place one block there and smash those two blocks there. And that will look just like that. My bad, my mistake, I apologize. And then obviously to make the window, we're going to take our normal technique of placing in two smooth sandstone stairs, just like that to make it create an archway. And then of course, some black stained glass in behind, just like that to create the window. And just how on that side, if you remember, there was this kind of funky thing going in the middle area here. We'll go ahead and add in that funky area. And so what we will do is break these two blocks here and place a two by two area on just like that. And then place two sandstone stairs on top, just like so. And then we will place a four by two area of sandstone walls, just like this, just like that. And then some sandstone blocks on top. And then obviously just go ahead and fill in the gaps behind just so that there are no air gaps peeking in just like that. And you will notice that this is not in line with this courtyard over here. That is kind of accurate how Durham Cathedral is. This kind of uh, window area does not line up with the with the courtyard below. And so we are going to do, of course, is just repeat this all the way down to the other bell tower. And so I will do this one more time and then you guys can just do this for yourself. And so the first thing we're going to do and do is go across four blocks. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then build up all the way to the top and just build a kind of frame around the area just like that and then build up two blocks just like so and then one block there with the smooth sandstone stairs just like that obviously identical to this window right there and a mirror image of the area over there and then place in the windows behind just like so and then obviously this area right here so a two by two area just there with the sandstone stairs on top and then the four by two area of sandstone walls with blocks behind just to create just to fill in any gaps just like that just like so. And so you will continue this over down all the way until you reach the bell tower over there. And so you repeat this four more times. So there will be one window here, another one, another one, another one. And so in total, there will be six windows along this area. And so a quick world edit tip, if you are playing with world edit, obviously if you're not on world edit, you won't be able to use this tip. So don't worry, you'll just have to build this by hand. So if you grab yourself your wand using slash slash wand, you can take this position right here and take and press and left, left click just there. Obviously this is a Java mod and you will not be able to use it if you are playing on Bedrock or do not have it installed. So take your first position right here by pressing left click and then press right click on this block right here. And then what you can do is just do slash slash stack four. Press enter just like that and that will fill this area in just like that very quickly and very smoothly. However, of course, Ward Edit is not available for Bedrock Edition, so you will have to go ahead and do this area by hand, just like this, and it will look like this, obviously, once complete. And so, now that you have done that, you can go ahead and just add a final beam up, just like that, just like so. And then you can grab yourself some sandstone slabs, and just place these along this line here, just to add some decoration from this very flat wall, and so just bring these all the way around, just like that. And then that will be this side of the courtyard now done. And then next we can go ahead and start the next other side of the courtyard. And lucky for us, this side is actually in line with these windows along here. And so the first thing we want to do, which is may seem a bit unusual, is to actually build a three by three square right, right here. It will just slot in right there and you go ahead and fill that gap in just there if that does annoy you and you'll just bring this three by three square all the way down until you come in line with the roof obviously smashing in any blocks that kind of get in the way and that will come all the way down and just smash into the roof just like 
that and that will look just like this and that will allow us to set up the next area of, of the courtyard and so this area is quite similar to this except the windows are a bit bigger and more spaced apart and so the first thing we are going to do is come out five blocks so one two three four five and this is going to mark our first window and so on top of here we'll build up two more blocks just like so and then build up four blocks along here so one two three four and then one two three four just like that and then just build a beam across just like this and then in this area you can obviously go ahead and do our usual technique of rounding off with some smooth sandstone stairs and then building in a window behind just just like so and obviously it does kind of go into the bell tower a bit however that is just what the exterior model is and obviously once there is a roof on this area you can go ahead and smash away this area of the bell tower to kind of add in your own interior i will be showing some ideas later in the series and then next thing we are going to do is just place three blocks just like this and go up along here until we come to the exact same height just like that and then you will notice that these three blocks are in line with these kind of three gaps, just like that. And then next thing we are going to do is just place a line of sandstone slabs along the top with some sandstone stairs in the corners, just like that. And that will look just like this. And then we will obviously add in some decoration and place in some sandstone slabs just there. And then we will just repeat this design over the entire area. So once again, come out five blocks so one two three four five and then build up two blocks just like this and then build up four blocks on each side just like that and then a beam along the top to round that off just there and then of course add in your smooth sandstone stairs just there and then some black stained glass behind just like this to create the window and then obviously some sandstone st um, slabs along there along the top with some sandstone stairs to round it off just like that and then of course the next three pillar area which will just go up in here just like that all the way up and once again it will be in line with this archway there and so what you now need to do is repeat this three more times to over there and of course another board edit trick if you are on um, java edition using board edit mod you can take this block as your first position by left clicking and come up to this block right here and place just a random block there, doesn't matter what it is, and just left click it to add your second coordinates with your wand. And then you can do, and then facing in this direction, you can do slash, slash stack, and three, and that will complete this area perfectly, just like this. Of course, if you don't have water edit or you are on bedrock, you'll just have to build this out by hand once again. It should be pretty simple to build, and it will look like this once it is complete. And then once you have done that, we will now need to build this onto this side as well. And so what we are going to do is attempt to make this symmetrical. And so of course you'll go ahead and place in kind of finish off this kind of L shape with um, the two kind of a two area just going up like that. Just kind of create this L shape in the corner and then we continue our windows all the way along. And so once again, just at a different angle now, you'll go ahead and place in five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And then come up two blocks on top just like that and then with the sandstone slab just along and then of course the rest of the frame of the window of course this is identical to what we've already built over here just at a 90 degree angle and then of course the smooth sandstone stairs and then the black stained glass behind to add in the window just like so and then obviously we'll just go ahead and build another one of these three kind of tall columns just like that and then of course round this area off with our lovely sandstone stairs and sandstone slabs and so what you now need to do is just build this three more times on um along to there obviously stopping once you come into line with this five by five area and of course another world edit chip you can obviously take this position as your first coordinate by left clicking and then come over to here and take this block right here as your second coordinate just like that by pressing left click i'm um, pressing right click sorry onto that block and then looking in this direction here do slash slash stack three just like that and it will complete that area for you of course if you are in bedrock and do not have the mod you have to do this by hand it is quite irritating i can understand so yeah you just kind of have to live with that really it's not really that much of a big deal since it is i mean it's not that much of a big area to kind of fill in by hand and obviously hogwarts is a massive build and if you are familiar with clone commands you can obviously attempt to clone them along or if you're familiar with structure blocks you can obviously use them as well however for the most part just build it by hand since it is not that much of an area to build and then we can now come into this area around the astronomy tower if you don't know this is the astronomy tower right here and this is where Dumbledore dies he kind of um gets thrown off here 
and he lands right here. And this is the very famous kind of sad scene where everyone is kind of looking at this angle with all of their wands raised up and that is the astronomy tower in the background. I will put a picture of it up on the screen so you kind of see the kind of similarities. And so around the astronomy tower there is obviously some more of the courtyard however it is slightly smaller. And then we will build up four blocks just like this and then build up five blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five and then beam that off just like so. And then of course add in our decorations just like before. So a sandstone stair there, sandstone stair there, and then three sandstone walls just like that with a sandstone slab on top with our two birch fences just like that. And then build up two more blocks just like so. And then of course we can go ahead and just build up a roof just kind of sloping up. And this will slope up to the center of this area which is right about here. And then of course on the other side you can go ahead and kind of repeat the exact same thing along going along just like so just going along of course and this of course will be a passageway leading out of this area here of course when we do the interior um, i'll leave some ideas for that as well and then obviously just add in the archway just here just like so and then of course build up along here as well and then of course continue the roof all the way along and that should connect nicely in the center just like that and then all you need to do is repeat this onto the other side of course, there is this massive 5 by 5 area, which is, well, I mean, it's the same as this area. We will complete this in the next episode. And so, just build up the usual kind of thing. So, 5 blocks up here, 3, 4, 5. And then, I guess, you can just go ahead in this area as well. Obviously, this area will be filled in with this kind of similar design. And then, round that off with a beam, just like that. And then, come up two more blocks. Of course, this is an identical module to what we've already built. Just, of course, at a different angle. And then, of course, just add in the decorations around it with the smooth birch fences. Just like that, and then of course the exact same thing on this side as well, like that, too high, and then two blocks up, and then just build up a line just there, and then obviously add in the kind of archway design we've already built a hundred times already, <laughs> and round off, just like that, and then of course we'll go ahead and add in our roof design up to the top, and this will just gently slope up at the exact same gradient as that area over there. Of course, if there was no astronomy tower, this of course would just go ahead and link all the way up to that area over there. And of course to connect the roof up on this side as well and that will just look just like that of course we'll continue this area in next episode and that will round off the transfiguration courtyard of course we did not get as much done as last episode but i think it is quite a big step being to the courtyard since in the next in this episode and next episode we'll complete this entire area which is quite a large area in fact and so that will round off today's episode and so I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to press subscribe. And of course, if you do get stuck at any point or just wish to join an epic Harry Potter community, feel free to join the Discord server. There'll be a link in the description and I will try my best to help you out if necessary. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> That's one of my favorite angles of the Bell Tower, which is behind me. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys then.